What up, everybody? It's your boy, Zach the King, up in this motherfucking man, back with another video. And as y'all can see from the title and the big-ass smile on my face that I got right now and in the thumbnail, it's six years, yes, yeah, six years since I left the streets, man. Hit that subscribe button below so you can be the first to know and help the channel grow. If you've been watching my channel for the last couple years, I started a YouTube channel in 2020 during covid um, this is my second YouTube channel. My other YouTube channel got deleted maybe about a year, year and a half ago. Um, but yes, every year since, you know, 2020, I'm on camera at least, I've been making this kind of video. Y'all can go back and check how many I've probably made on this channel, probably two or three already. This is probably like the third one. Um, yeah, it's been six years, man. Every September 26th, of every year uh, marks the day that I rolled the dice, I took a chance on myself, and I left the streets for good, man. But before I get into that, man, if you've been rocking with my channel, man, I appreciate y'all. I'm saluting y'all. Thank you so much for continuing to subscribe, share, like, comment, even dislike, and leave negative comments on my videos, man. Hey, I'll take the good with the bad, man. With that being said, man, you know, we're going to pop a little bottle. I didn't get a full big bottle because, man, I've been up since like 2 o'clock this morning. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to go to sleep. And you'll understand why here in a second. When you see this concoction I've came up with. Hopefully this bitch don't pow everywhere. Like one of these other ones I was popping on on camera for y'all. We're going to pop the rosé, man. You know. Cheers to everybody watching this, man. You know. Got the little half bottle of champagne. And we got the motherfucking, you know, my unofficial sponsors right here. I'm about to show y'all a new drink, man. First, you seen it first here on motherfucking Sack the King TV. It's called the Double R, man. Yeah, the Rolls Royce, man. You got the rosé. And Red Bull, man, you feel me? The rosé with the Red Bull, man. Hey, don't knock it till you try, you feel what I'm saying? Anyways, man, yes, it's been six years since I left the fucking streets, man. I, I took the last money that I had, you know, which was, you know, a good amount. Uh, and I sold all my cars and shit, and, and I moved to Hawaii, man. And I say, you know what, this is it. I'm, I'm leaving the streets. You know, I had a great run, man. You know, I'm 41. You feel me? I'm 41. Um, and I was in the streets for 23 out of 41 of those years. You feel me? I hopped in the streets when I was 13. I've been out for six. You feel me? Uh, well, really, you know, I hopped in the streets when I was like 12, I guess you could say. But I didn't start doing no gangster shit until I was 13. I definitely was in the streets already at 12. You know what I'm saying? And it's been six years to the day that I have left the streets. Now, yes, I am very happy and excited for that. Uh, I don't have any Fs on my report card. My name is good. I ain't never been to prison, thank God. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never been shot. Although I have been betrayed, lied to, backstabbed, all that other shit that comes with the streets. Hey, man, the two most important things have not happened to me while I was in the streets. And I'm very thankful to God for that. Because if you know me throughout any part of my life, you was probably doing some gangster shit with me. You was probably in the streets with me. So you know what kind of shit we was doing. I don't have to say any names. You feel me? But... You know, I remember times as a teen where I was hopping in the car with grown ass men ready to go shoot motherfuckers from Oak Park and Meadowview just because they had on red. This is back in the in the mid 90s. You know what I'm saying? I remember them days after the army where I caught my case where I told y'all about, you know, uh, how, how Germany took my passport for a whole year. Go watch that video and how I was fucked up money wise and. 
how, you know, I used, man, I was couch surfing. I was damn near homeless, man. Me and D used to wake up every day like, who we gonna rob today? You feel me? Just so we can split mini meals and smoke weed. You feel me? Because I was stuck in another country with my passport taken. So go watch that video again. I can remember days where, you know, after I took a major L in like 2010, you know, I, I moved into the little apartment me and my brother had because my house got kicked in. I don't know if I told that story yet on here, but um, yeah, you know, waking up with him every fucking day, like who we going to rob? You know what I mean? Like, I remember days where, you know, like, like I said, I'm not finna, I'm not finna, you know, I can, I can say them niggas names. Was, them was my brothers and that shit happened, you know, over 10 years and some of that shit 20 years ago. But, you know, as of recent, you know, in the last 10 years, you feel me? I can, I can think of times where nigga, I done had to mask up and kick in motherfuckers doors and lay niggas down and tie niggas up and take all they shit just to get back on my feet. You feel me? With, and, and, you know, I'm not proud of anything that I ever did. But, you know, it's like Tupac said, you know, I ain't never did a crime I ain't have to do or I felt like I ain't have to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, everybody, 99.9% .9 of the people that I ever committed street crimes against was, was other people in the streets, too. That's another reason why I can look at myself in the mirror. I can sleep at night sometimes, you know, knowing that. They was in the streets just like I was in the streets. They could have did it to me just like I was doing whatever I was doing to them, you know. It, it's just a blessing to be here, man. I live in Japan now, man. You know, I, I spent four good years in Hawaii. I've been in Japan for two years. I, I, I plan on being here until 2027 and going right back to paradise, you know. But I had to move up out of California, man. And that's why I be giving y'all these game times. Um, and I'm going to drop another one next about sometimes you got to separate to elevate, man. You know, I, I felt like the way I was moving before I left California, it, eventually I was going to end up being the target of somebody's envy or I was going to be the target of somebody's investigation. And, you know, I just had to really, you know, I left money in the streets. I left money in the streets. I left thousands of dollars in the streets because once, you know, I ain't gonna lie, once I felt that Hawaii aloha spirit, that ocean seawater cures everything, it's like, I let it all go. You feel me? I let whatever people owed me go. Thousands of dollars still in the streets. I left that shit. I let that shit go. You know what I'm saying? Um, and God's been blessing me ever since, man. You know what I'm saying? I am at the happiest point probably that I've ever been in my life. Um, my life isn't perfect at all. Um, and I'm not everywhere where I want to be in life because I have very high goals for myself, but I can say that I am not the same person that I used to be six years ago. You feel me? Uh, I hope that if you know me, you've seen the change in these last six years and especially in these last two years since I've lived outside of the country you know, I could flip that switch on back at any given time. You know, it, it's it's still in me. I'm still a street nigga in, in, in my heart. But my mind had to change. You feel me? I had to condition my mind to change to, to get up out of the streets. And, and it was a time where I was telling myself, man, I ain't never leaving Sacramento, nigga. Especially when I was getting at times where I was just getting stupid ass money. And there was a lot of times I was getting stupid ass money. And, and a lot of y'all can vouch for this because a lot of y'all I was putting on to get stupid ass money with. And, and sometimes y'all was putting me on to shit to get stupid money with. So, you know, with that being said, it's like it's hard for to let that go, especially when everybody knows you, you know. But I took a chance and I took a risk and I just left and moved somewhere where I ain't never even visited to Hawaii. Just like I moved somewhere here where I never even visited to a whole nother country, Japan. I mean, Hawaii, honestly, it's a state, but if you move there and you in integrate yourself in the community, you'll realize that is its own country as well. They still have their own customs. They still have their own language. They still have their own way of life. It's just technically a state. You feel me?
It's not, it's not really, to me, no different than what Puerto Rico or Guam is to America. It's just a state rather than a territory. But it's still its own country. And, you know, moving even further to Japan is just really made me think so much more about just life and how thankful I am. And how grateful I am. And blessed I am to wake up a free man, to wake up and not be looking at a fucking inside of a casket. Because Lord knows, man, I, I shouldn't be here, bro. I beat the odds, man. I beat the odds when it came to the streets. I beat the odds. And it's a lot of people that didn't beat the odds, man. It's a lot of people that's at the cemetery and... and in prison cells that didn't beat the odds. It's a lot of people that was doing a lot of this gangster shit with me that didn't beat the odds. I mentioned earlier how I was getting in the car as a teenager, sliding on niggas with grown ass men, and I ain't gotta go into too much detail about that. But them same grown men that I was sliding with, that I was putting in work with, getting put on the set, garden block with, are dead. You feel me? They've, they've been killed. You know what I mean? In the streets. You feel me? So, again, that's why I'm so happy. You feel me? Like, I'm, I'm getting emotional right now thinking about just my life flashing before me and all the shit and all the people that I've met and have come and gone. But it's, it's a joy, though. You feel me? It's like a joy because statistically... I'm not supposed to be here. You feel me? Uh, you know, if karma is real, I'm not supposed to be here. But obviously, I've done enough good in my life because Lord knows I have a good heart. And again, I never did a crime I didn't have to do. And I wasn't deliberately doing crimes to innocent people. It was people that were in the streets too. You know, that doesn't make it any better. But I'm saying it's like... Somewhere along the line, things should have happened to me that didn't. And I'm thankful and I'm glad and I'm and I'm happy. And, you know, I, I just couldn't be more grateful and, and blessed in life. And I'm, you know, hoping that I can go another six years without staying in the streets because it's hard, man. You know, it's hard to stay in the straight and narrow. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's really hard. And... It's easy to get caught up in some street shit. You feel me? Especially when you a street nigga still inside your heart. You know what I mean? But your mind has to be stronger. Your mind is a bigger organ than your heart is. So your mind got to, you know, it starts up here before it gets to here sometimes. You know what I mean? So with that being said, I ain't going to make this video too much longer, man. I got another video where I'm going to go more into to what I'm talking about. Uh, so stay tuned for that game time because I'm going to tell y'all what the worst, you know, being out of the streets and looking back, I'm going to tell y'all what the worst addiction is. You feel me? The worst drug is. You feel me? So stay tuned. Please hit that subscribe button below so you can be the first to know and help the channel grow. And thank you for watching. Thank y'all for all y'all support. And please let me be some motivation Please let me be an example to anybody watching this, including anybody that I know that's still actively in these streets or anybody that I don't know watching this from anywhere in the world who's actively in the streets or doing shit. You know, do what you got to do. I cannot knock nobody's hustle ever. But just know that along the line, if you don't get out the streets, you're going to be dead. You're going to be in prison or you're going to be in a wheelchair or maybe in prison in a wheelchair waiting to die. You feel me? Um, let's do better, man. Let's do better. Change your thinking, change your life. Like I said, in that, in one of them game times. Even if you have to celebrate, separate to elevate. Like I said, in another game time. It's your boy Sack the King up in this motherfucker, man. Cheers to me. Cheers to y'all. Thank you for watching. King.